Hello and welcome to our time of devotion and prayer for Tuesday, August the 18th, 2020. I am so glad you're here uh, spending a few minutes with the body of Christ together in this way uh, and spending some time in God's Word to help to center your heart on what it is that God is calling us to do. So this morning I'm going to read a very familiar parable and uh, I don't know if you're like me, but with so much going on, I'm like this close to being overwhelmed. So it's so important for us to gather in this way. Uh, we're going to start our time together with a, wor- a word of prayer, and then we're going to read a familiar parable from Luke's Gospel, uh, and then just with a few words, and we'll close our time with prayer and be on our way out into the world to serve and to love those around us. So let's begin our time together with a word of prayer. Let us pray. O God, with all your faithful followers of every age, we praise you, the rock of our life. Be our strong foundation and form us into the body of your Son, that we may gladly minister to all the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. So, a very familiar parable, uh, and I'm praying that this hearing this parable will inspire you, will help remind you of how we're called to serve one another, to love one another. And uh, I invite you to listen from Luke's Gospel, chapter 10. And again, this is a a familiar parable, but maybe today you'll hear this afresh, hear this new. Starting with verse 25, and I'll be in the NRSV. Just then a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You've given the right answer. Do this, and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers, who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a priest was going down that same road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, The one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. Word of God, word of life. So this is a very familiar parable, but my hope and my prayer is that hearing this today, during this time when there's so much going on, when we're possibly, if you're like me, this close to being overwhelmed, will remind us that we're not called to carry the weight of every single burden of what's happening right now. But if we can just take time to start with our neighbor. Start with someone who's close to you. Start with someone that's much different than you. Just start with one person, if you can, and serve them. Because remember, um, so many people won't step into a church in their lifetime, which we pray they do, but they'll get to know Jesus Christ. They'll get to know Jesus through your actions of love and service and kindness. So know your neighbor. Know the people around you and uh, the people who are different than you, that look, that talk, that uh, there's so many, so much diversity in this beautiful world that we live in, but it starts by serving your neighbor. And it doesn't need to be carrying the weight of the world. I can't say that enough because right now the devil would want nothing more than for us to become paralyzed by the amount of things that are happening right now. And in my mind this morning, I was just thinking of storm upon storm upon storm upon storm, but we are not ca- called to carry that kind of weight. God is with us. God walks with us. God is accompanying us. And God will give us the strength to serve in the way that God calls us to serve. And it starts with serving your neighbor. 
So know your neighbor, know what's going on. Um, don't be distracted by, uh, by screens and media and all of these different things. Take time away and know, serve, and love your neighbor. So it's my prayer that you can be inspired today to step out, uh, to safely step out and serve someone close to you and let that be a starting point um, to break free of this sense of being overwhelmed by what's happening in the world. So uh, a familiar parable that speaks so beautifully to our time right now. So we're going to close our time together with a word of prayer. And uh, another thing that I was really praying that this parable would remind us of is the fact that there is so much going on around us. There are so many people that need our prayers. And prayer is something that we can do for multitudes of people. So let's close our time together with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, we we give you thanks and praise for this day that you've given us, this beautiful day. Lord, we would pray that you would give us wisdom and strength and courage to serve our neighbor, to share the gifts that we have, to show your love to those around us and help them to better know you through that service. Almighty God, there are so many people in our world that are hurting, so many people suffering, suffering from earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, illness. There's just so much. So we come to you today knowing that our faithful prayers are heard by you. And in your time, you will respond to those prayers. So I ask you to be with us as we step out of this space. Lord, this morning we lift to you Sue. Sue S., Lord, place your hand of healing on Sue. We pray for restoration of her health. Help her to feel your presence and your love. And Lord, this morning we also pray for Linda, who's faced with very difficult decisions. Almighty God, pull her in close. Help her to know that your spirit walks with her, that you will guide her and lead her and protect her in the decisions that she has to make. O Lord, our God and our Holy Spirit, your your Holy Spirit guides us that we may make our decisions with love, mercy, and reverence for your gift of life. So Lord, be with Linda. Be with all who suffer. Be with those who are victims of violence Help to heal our world, heal our planet, heal your people. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It was so good to see you today, and I pray that you feel God's presence as you step out and serve your neighbor, as you um, love those around you and show the love of Jesus Christ to the world. And until I see you next time, wherever that might be, peace be with you, my friends. Amen.